Looking live at the Brent Spence Bridge, where traffic is moving smoothly right now, it's a gateway to the Tri-State. If you drive the Brent Spence Bridge, you know you have just seconds to decide which lane to be in to get where you're going. And that could stretch into minutes because of how the bridge corridor project is shaping up. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee is live with what this means to your safety behind the wheel. Tom? Well, Carol, transportation experts tell me you have 21 seconds to decide among five options if you travel northbound on I-75. It's much the same southbound with three options in your favor here. So this is what the plan looks like right now. They want to add 16 new traffic lanes here at the bridge, but upgrade the entire eight-mile corridor from Camp Washington to Fort Mitchell. So as you say, turn those seconds into minutes. When Erin Roydeshek drives northbound on I-75 toward the Brent Spence Bridge, she leaves nothing to chance. I try to decide where I'm going and if, which lane I should be in immediately because you don't have much time to make that decision once you pass Covington. The Florence mother's children, Sam and Lucy, are why she concentrates on driving, especially since lower deck road signs are hard to see. You cannot be like on the phone or talking to somebody, even if you're talking to somebody in the car, it's... You're like, okay, hold on, give me a second, I gotta get over. The upper deck heading southbound is just as tricky. My brother lives off of 5th Street, so getting from that downtown onto 5th Street, you don't have very much time. Changes to the I-75 corridor should eliminate some of the confusion brought about by a myriad of signs that can lead to weaving and lane changing. Our design plan is to separate all those movements so that traffic making that local move will be on what we're considering a collector distributor roadway network that will allow all the movements at a potentially slower speed than interstate speeds. Through traffic would sail along in its own lanes from the Western Hills Viaduct in Cincinnati to Dixie Highway in Fort Mitchell. By reducing the number of access points, you're reducing the number of conflict points. The number of locations where people make a decision and aren't sure or are, you know, hesitant. And by reducing that, you're improving the safety. That's just fine with the Wojtaszek family. I think any, any sort of extra time you can have would be very helpful and make me feel better. Now, this is one of the reasons why safety could improve. Right now, you're three to five times more likely to have an accident on the Brent Spence Bridge than any other part of the highway interstate system in Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana. Rob Hans of the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet tells me that upgrading the bridge will turn it from a letter grade F right now to about a C. Not an A, but it's better than nothing. Tom McKee, 9 on side, live in Covington. Sure is, Tom. And you have a chance to sound off tomorrow on the Brent Spence Bridge and the tolls you may have to pay to cross its replacement. Kenton County Judge Executive Steve Arlinghouse and the Fiscal Court are holding a special meeting at 6 o'clock tomorrow night at Notre Dame Academy in Park Hills. Representatives from the Kentucky and Ohio Departments of Transportation will be there.